overturning of a freestanding barrier. This lecture deals with overturning. The fundamentals. To illustrate the fundamentals, let's look at the simple problem of a pendulum. Striking a lump mass which is supported on a pole. The amount of kinetic energy de delivered by the impact is half mv naught square. The question is how much of this energy goes into the pole? Consider two objects in space. The flying impacted object has mass m and the target which is initially stationary has mass lambda m. So as the impactor move and collide with the target, it has velocity of the impact v0, momentum m v0, and kinetic energy half m v0 squared. On rebounds, the velocity of rebounds is minus v1 and momentum minus m v1 for the impactor. Um, the negative sign is because of a change in directions on rebounds. Then for the target, velocity is v2 and momentum is lambda m v2. At the instant of impact, the momentum delivered by impactor is m v0. Right afterwards, the momentum of the rebounding impactor is minus m v1, whereas that of the target is lambda m v2. So you make use of this information to write down the equations of equal momentum as shown at the bottom of the slide. We start with the equations of momentum. Then to add mv2 to both sides of the equations, in the end you get the expression of v2 divided by v0 expressed as 1 plus coefficient restitution divided by 1 plus lambda. The expression that we have derived enable us to calculate velocity v2 of the target right after the impact. The amount of kinetic energy which is developed into the target right after the impact is also found. If the target is supported by a pole, then the kinetic energy K2 is then translated into the string energy absorbed by the pole. It's now shown that only a fraction of the kinetic energy delivered by the impact is absorbed as string energy by the pole. Now, the next step is to calculate the amount of drift of the single degree of freedom systems. Now, given the amount of string energy absorbed by the pole, then the displacement delta can be found. <coughs> Experimental verification. The equation that we have just derived for predicting the amount of maximum displacement delta has been verified by conducting experiments uh, using a pendulum device to strike a lump mass system. It is shown that the experimental result match very well with the hand calculated value for delta as shown on this diagram. What we have learned from the lectures on the fundamentals can be adapted to the predictions of the overturning of a freestanding block. To begin with, let's consider the simple example of a rectangular shaped object. Reinforced concrete rectangular objects have been casted and tested to support this study. A pendulum device has been used to strike the upper corner of the rectangular block, delivering a kinetic energy of half mv0 squared. At 
as the rectangular block is struck, the center of gravity is lifted as the body rotates in the overturning motions, then a fraction of the kinetic energy is absorbed in the form of the rise in potential energy resulted from the lifting of the block. Now let's compare the, uh, the, the impact on a single degree of freedom system with that on a overturning rectangular block. You can see the similar expression for the kinetic energy ratios. Instead of having parameter lambda as arguments, we have introduced a new parameter kappa, which will be explained in the later slides. It's shown that the expression for determining the value of delta subscript CG, lifting of a center of gravity, is very similar in form to that of a lump mass system. Now then, we have got a new parameter kappa, which is a function of I theta, which is the rotational inertia of the overturning objects, as shown on the diagram. Given the amount of lifting of the rectangular block at the center of gravity, by the use of simple geometry, the way of the horizontal displacement delta of the rectangular object can be found as so. The equation that has been derived for predicting the amount of horizontal displacement of the rectangular block has also been verified experimentally by impact testing. Very good match between the experimentally recorded displacement with the calculated displacement of the rectangular objects is well demonstrated on this diagram. The methodology that has been presented has been published in the ASC Journal of Engine Mechanics in 2018. Overturning of an L-shaped block for barrier. An L-shaped cross section is representative of reinforced concrete barriers being used for landslide protections. The methodology that has been developed for predicting the overturning of a rectangle-shaped object has been adapted to the overturning of an L-shaped barrier. Given the way of delta subscript CG rise in zero gravity, the factor of safety against overturning can be read off directly from this chart. The methodology presented has been published in the Journal of Landslides in 2018.